California Congressman Adam Schiff is the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning. Before we get to James Comey, this attack on, on Syria, uh, how do we know the intelligence was right? Well, I had a chance to speak to the director about attribution of Syria and what kind of attack it was, uh, and I'm confident that we know it was a chemical weapons attack uh, and that the regime carried it out. Uh, so I'm fully confident in that. Uh, I, look, I think the president did a couple things right and one big thing wrong. Um, I think he was right to have uh, strikes on these chemical facilities as a deterrent to Bashar al-Assad uh, to try to uh, reestablish this norm against the use of chemical weapons. Uh, and I think he was right to pick targets that would not uh, risk Russian lives and, and uh, embroil us in a broader war. Using sanctions against the Russians, which they're apparently going to employ, I think is the right approach rather than bombing Russian targets. But on the negative side of the ledger, this should have been brought to Congress for a vote. Uh, it morally justified, but probably unconstitutional. Let me ask you about James Comey. You said after his decision to reinitiate the investigation into Hillary Clinton's email, this was a very serious error in judgment. The Republicans are using that now. So if he is capable of that kind of a serious error in judgment, why should people listen to him now? Well, I've always found him to be very credible, very honest. Uh, I think he's explaining why he made the decisions that he did, uh, as flawed in my judgment as they were. Uh, but I've never had a reason to question his, uh, either his intelligence or his honesty. I think he's giving us what he thought at the time, why he did what he did. Uh, I think his recollections of his conversations with the president, uh, which he memorialized, uh, are spot on and, and, and unfortunately resonate all too much, particularly when he concludes that uh, this is a president who's morally unfit for the office. Your committee is investigating Russian interference, so you've, you know, you're familiar with what Comey has said in the past. What did you learn new from his interview? Well, you know, honestly, I didn't learn all that much new. Uh, probably what struck me the most was his description of the president and those around him like a mob family. Now, that was a new insight, uh, and, and frankly, it resonates with what we've seen of the president. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and the fact that so many around him are willing to propagate his falsehoods, uh, that is, mob kind of behavior, uh, anything in the service of the boss. Uh, so that struck me. But in terms of the actual facts, I've had a chance to read his memos, hear his testimony, interact with him. Uh, I obviously was there uh, as part of the Gang of Eight when we were first learning about what the Russians were doing. And his interviews seem completely consistent with that. And Comey said and continues to say that one of his number one goals was to appear unbiased. Uh, he says he did not vote for that reason. He didn't like being alone with presidents for that reason. Uh, given that, what do you make of some of the criticism that he's receiving now by talking about things like the size of the president's hands and whether his hair is real and whether he goes to a tanning bed? Uh, some say that plays into the president's argument that he is, in fact, biased. Uh, look, I, you know, I think those kind of observations add color to the book. I, I don't particularly put a lot of weight in them. Uh, I think the, the real uh, gravamen of what he's writing about and what he's talking about is the danger that the country is in when we can't trust our president to, to do the right thing or even to say what is factually true. Uh, that's a terrible indictment of any president, the fact that uh, he can't say and we can't say that the Russians, a foreign nation adversary, doesn't have something over the president of the United States, this ought to concern all Americans. Uh, it's why, uh, you know, I'm so determined to make sure that Mueller can do his work, that the president stay out of his way, uh, because the Congress uh, and the country need to get answers uh, and make sure that the president is acting in our interest, not in his own personal interest. Something the former FBI director did is that he hinted at the, wor at the possibility that the Russians have something that could blackmail President Trump, but he offered no evidence. Based on everything you've seen, what is your take? Well, I, I think I'm very much uh, in the position of James Comey, which is uh, the investigation still has more work to do. One of the issues that concerns me the most, Congress is not investigating, and I don't know if uh, Bob Mueller's investigating, and that is, were the Russians laundering money through the Trump Organization? Um, there are a number of credible allegations along these lines. Uh, that, to me, would be far more compromising than any salacious video. After Stormy Daniels, how compromising could a salacious video be? Laundering anyway, it how? Uh, laundering it by uh, Russians who needed to unload lots of money, a Trump organization that's in, in trouble financially, can't borrow money from banks. The only bank that seems to lend them money in massive amounts is Deutsche Bank, which had to pay hundreds of millions in fines for laundering Russian money. So 
this may be a red line of the president's for a reason, but he is not entitled to draw red lines. But it looks like Mueller is looking into all of that. You said he's not. We don't know. Uh, you know, the New York Times uh, piece recently said that uh, he contemplated firing Mueller until he was assured that Mueller was not subpoenaing Deutsche Bank. I would hope that Mueller is subpoenaing Deutsche Bank. We should be doing that in Congress. Uh, we should find out and be able to tell the American people there's no truth to these allegations or there's all too much truth to these allegations. Congressman Schiff, thank you for joining us here. We appreciate it. Thank you.